Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing when your ex sees you don't care. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing when your ex sees you don't care. So if you've been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, your behavior will affect your chances of success. But what happens if you stop caring? And if that's the case, what does it mean to stop caring? What then happens if your ex sees this behaviour on social media or hears about it in some way? In today's podcast, I'm discussing three scenarios when it seems like you no longer care and how this makes your dumper feel. So let's get straight into this. And point number one is you do crazy things. So one of the ways, quote unquote, not caring could come across It's that you do crazy things. And when I say you do crazy things, I mean you do something reckless. The concept of, I don't care anymore about what happens to me. Now, this is a mindset that some people fall into if they feel they no longer care. Maybe they've been dumped. Maybe they've gone through some type of other grief. But of course, today we are focusing on a breakup situation where you as a dumpy are experiencing the grief of a breakup. And you might come to that conclusion but you no longer care anymore. You don't care about the outcome of things. You're going to do crazy stuff. You're going to do reckless things. You're going to do dangerous things and situations, which if you were thinking with a clear mindset, you wouldn't be doing. Now, this is not a good situation to be in. You don't need me to be telling you that. I think if you were thinking with a clear mindset, you would fully understand that this is not a good decision. And if you do believe you have been living a reckless life, And this doesn't necessarily mean you're doing an action which is dangerous. It could be a behavioural pattern where, for instance, you're burning a candle at both ends. You're not getting enough sleep and therefore that's affecting your work, etc, etc. So there's different ways we can look at this. But you don't need me to be telling you that it's not a good way of living, but you don't care. You know, that's the point. You no longer care about your own situation, your own life. Now, if this is the scenario for you, I do suggest you speak with friends and family and maybe consider contacting a local doctor because this is going to lead you to disaster. You know, whatever you're actually doing, if you feel you fit into this category, this is not going to end well. But right now we're considering how this connects with your ex. So let's just say you're behaving in a way which could be deemed crazy, could be deemed reckless, could be deemed dangerous whatever it may be within that realm, and you have put this online, or maybe a friend of a friend has told your ex, how is your ex but dumper likely to feel when they find out about this information? Well, depending on them as a person, it is likely to fall into one of two categories. The first of which is worry. You know, they're going to be worried, they're going to be very concerned, and you may actually hear from your ex. Now, as a dumpy, you might be listening to this and thinking, yes, that's what I want. I want my dumper to contact me. Well, not exactly. You know, you want your dumper to contact you if they're feeling a higher level of romantic emotional attraction towards you, if they're feeling in a romantic interest towards you, if they may consider reconnecting with you. You don't want to hear from your ex dumper through worry, through pity, through concern. That is not going to get your ex back. So if you believe that behaving in this way is going to get your ex to contact you, well, in some regards, you might actually be correct, but not for the reason that you want. This isn't going to help you. Somebody's not going to want to be in a relationship with you because they're worried about you. And even if you fall into a category in which that actually is the case, it is a very, very small category indeed. And I would suggest in most instances, the dumper would become the dumper further along once more once they believe your mindset is stabilised. If they get back into a relationship with you due to fear of your own safety, this is not through genuine romantic love. It's through worry, it's through pity, it's through concern. 
And as soon as they feel that your mindset is more stable, they're likely to go again. So it's not a long-term solution. It's not a way to get your ex back. Yes, you might hear from your ex, but I would doubt very much that it's going to lead to a long-term forever romantic reconnection with them. So please don't consider that if you believe you're going to hear from your ex. But that is just one possibility of how your dumper might react if they were to see, hear about, find out about your crazy reckless behaviour. The other possibility is they might hear about this, see this and think, whoa, you know, I'm glad I got out of this because my ex dumpy clearly is going down a reckless, dangerous path and I'm glad I got out of this situation before they actually went down this route anyway. Now, you might think to yourself, well, I'm only doing this because of how they've treated me, but that is irrespective. If your dumper finds out that you're behaving this way, there is a chance they might see themselves as very lucky to have got out of your relationship when they did, and even more so, move further away. Certainly not regrown romantic emotional attraction. If anything, in that scenario, if your dumper falls into that category, this would decrease the level of attraction even further. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast. Please like this video if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. And point number two is you look disheveled. So remember we're talking today about when your ex sees, you don't care. And what happens if and when they see these various perspectives. And one of the ways that you could quote unquote stop caring could manifest itself is if you stop taking care of yourself. And this is in a physical, personal sense. So in this scenario, you've been dumped, you're heartbroken, and you feel like you can't get out of bed. And even if you do get out of bed, you certainly can't be bothered to look after yourself. You're no longer bothered about your appearance. You're certainly not bothered about your health. You can't be bothered to do anything within your life. You've got no motivation, no desire, no get up and go. So what happens if your expert dumper finds this out? Now, maybe you're unlikely to be posting this on social media because why would you be posting photos of yourself looking terrible and not caring how you look? But in some instances, dumpies will because they don't care. So a dumper may find out that way or probably more likely in this situation, they might find out through a friend of a friend, somebody mutually knows both of you, whatever it may be. They might say, hey, have you heard about your dumpy? I saw them the other day, they looked terrible. You know you know how they used to really care about how they looked? Well, their hair was a mess. It didn't look like they was wearing clean clothes. I was a bit close by to them and I could actually smell them. You know, it was horrible. I don't know what's happened to them. You know, they used to take so much pride in their appearance and now they really don't care. So if your ex dumper finds out about this type of situation, whether they've seen something, whether they've actually seen it themselves in person or online, or they've heard something from somebody else, it's not going to be something which grows romantic emotional attraction in their mind. Remember, today's podcast is about if you're a dumpy and you want to try to get your ex back, we have to think about this logically. So even if you feel, I don't care anymore, I've been dumped, I'm not bothered, you've got to recognise that mindset is not going to help you get your ex back. Because if your ex of a dumper knows from personal experience after being near you, or maybe just being told, if they know or believe that you stink, that you smell, that you're not taking care of yourself, that you don't seem to wash anymore, that you're not bothered about your appearance, that you look a state, okay, that is obviously not going to help you get your ex back. You have to understand as a dumpy what you need to be doing to increase your chance of success, not decrease it. And even though you might find it very, very difficult to get out of bed and even more difficult to put in effort about how you appear in the world, you must do because your ex dumper is not going to come back to you if they believe you're in a worse state than the person that they actually dumped. Now, some of you might be listening to this and thinking, well, I thought we had true love. It didn't matter about how I looked or what I seemed. You know, we had a special bond. Well, I'm sorry, romantic emotional attraction, romantic love is conditional. It's not unconditional. People say things such as, I will love you forever. We have unconditional love. No, I disagree. The only unconditional love that I believe in is between a parent and child and maybe siblings as well. These are situations where you can love this person 
And even if you have a bad experience, an argument, whatever it may be, you're still going to feel that love deep down, that special love between a child and a parent or a sibling. There's something always going to be there. You know, that term, blood is thicker than water. However, when we consider romantic love, romantic love is conditional. And if you say, no, I loved my ex unconditionally, well, think about it. I'm sure they could have done certain things to you or about you or against you where you wouldn't feel that way. And therefore, it is conditional. If your ex Padumpa had cheated on you a hundred times during your relationship, would you really still love them? You know, think about it logically. You don't have unconditional love for your partner and nobody does. And therefore, it is based on a value exchange in every situation. And when we consider this particular scenario, this is about your own health and well-being. This is about personal care. This is about how you come across. This is about physical attraction. And physical attraction is very important. Even if you say, well, I loved my partner more for their mind rather than their body. Well, I'm sorry, but it still plays a part. And your ex dumper is going to be feeling the same towards you. Your physical appearance, how you come across that physical attraction plays a part in romantic attraction. So if you feel you can't be bothered, if you feel you don't care, if you now seem disheveled, then you can't be surprised if your ex dumper doesn't come back to you. You've got to be a better person than they remembered, not a worse person, not a less attractive person. And therefore, you really need to have to concentrate on improving yourself rather than thinking, I don't care. I'm not bothered. I don't care how I look. I don't care how I smell. I am not bothered. Okay, but sadly, you're going to be alone. You're creating a self-fulfilling prophecy of where you are going to be single forevermore. You need to step up to the plate and you need to improve yourself. Now, if you would like advice and support about how to try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service, where me and you can speak one-on-one about your unique specific situation. Go to my website, www.dateme.tips, for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammate via my audio coaching service. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about when your ex sees you don't care. And point number three is you focus on living your life to the full. So now we're at the point of where you want to be at Dumpies. This also constitutes as the quote unquote, I don't care anymore. But this is hugely different from point number one and point number two. You're not behaving recklessly. You're also making sure that you care for your personal appearance and your physical health. You're not treating yourself in a bad way. You're not putting yourself at risk. Instead, you're living your life to the full and you're focusing on you and your journey. So this could still be seen as you don't care, but instead of it not being I don't care about myself, this is more about I don't care about losing the relationship. And there is a big, big difference because once you concentrate on you rather than your ex, you become more attractive. If you live your life to the full, you're going to be improving yourself. You're going to be broadening your horizons. You're going to be becoming that version 2.0 that I've spoke about in other podcasts, becoming a better person today than you were yesterday and a better person tomorrow than you are currently today. This is what it's about, making new connections, joining new classes, groups and clubs, moving forward in your work life, your professional life, your cultured life, however you want to look at it, you're taking a step forward. By doing this, you're showing you don't care about the loss of your relationship. Now, this doesn't mean that you don't care about your dumper and don't be worried that by doing this, they will think, oh, they never cared for me. That's not true. Your expert dumper knows that you love them. They know because during the breakup, you'd have likely made it clear you didn't want it to end. So they know how you felt. But they also now will start to understand that you're not giving up your life because they're not with you. And that is an attractive position for you to be in. Yes, at the time of a breakup, explain how you don't want things to end and that you love, unfortunately, you're now ex. But once the breakup is settled, you can't be sitting around waiting for them, not getting out of bed. Instead, you've got to live your life to the full. That is the only way your ex dumper can come to the conclusion 
that they are missing out. They can't feel they're missing out if they know you're not doing anything. They can't feel they're missing out if they believe you're living a dangerous life where tomorrow isn't promised. They're not going to believe they're missing out if you don't look your best. They're going to feel they're missing out if you're living your life the right way, doing the things which are going to improve yourself rather than decrease your value and making sure that tomorrow is a brighter day. If you're doing these things, you're going to be a very attractive option for everybody who knows you. New people coming into your life and your ex. And that is the difference. When your ex sees you don't care, make sure that they are seeing you don't care about the loss of a relationship because you are going to live your best life anyway. Don't come across as a way where you're living recklessly or you're not caring about your personal hygiene. No, showcase that you don't care about the end of your relationship because if they don't want to be with you, you're going to find somebody who does and they're going to be better than them anyway. You want to be with them, they made their choice. Okay, that's fine, it's sad, but it's all right. I'm going to be brilliant without you. I'm going to do my thing. That is attractive. That is what you as a dumpy want your expert dumper to see and to believe. And if you do that, you will be regrown romantic emotional attraction in their mind. And if it is the necessary high point, that is when they will reach out to you. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description.